Hello watchers and dear subscribers, welcome back to fourth part of linear layout. In this video, we will talk about padding and layout margin. It is quite simple and small topic, so we are not going to go deep into it. We already used layout margin in our relative layout. Just I want to depict the difference between the padding and the layout margin when used in the XML layout. Now let's check it out. Now inside our Eclipse, I am having the activity main.xml with a linear layout and the text view inside the linear layout. Fine. Now I have changed the text to our text and I have changed the background of linear layout as green color and the background of text view as sky blue. Fine. Go to the graphical layout. I have changed the background color just to make it easier for you to differentiate what is going on here. Right. Now let us go to activity main.xml. Now let's add an attribute. Let's say layout margin. Now here you can see layout margin, layout margin left, top, right, bottom and blah 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 many are here. Now let's start with this layout margin. Let us assign it a value. Now go to the graphical layout. Now here you can see our text is aligned by 100 dp from the top and 100 dp from the left and also 100 dp from the right and 100 dp from the down. Here the right side and the bottom side 100 dp is not getting visible guys. You can't make it out. So for that let us do one thing. Let us drag and drop a button below it. As soon as you drag and drop a button below it. Now check it out. The button is not aligned just below our text view. It is aligned few distance away from our text view. This is because as I told you we are having the margin of 100 dp from all four directions. So from the top 100 dp, from the left 100 dp, from the right 100 dp and from the bottom I am having a margin of 100 dp. So within this 100 dp no widget is allowed to be placed. Fine. Now let us use an attribute layout margin left equal to 100 dp and also layout margin top equal to 100 dp. Now let's see what difference we are getting here. Here our button has moved little bit upside. This is because we are having just 100 dp from the two direction. From the top is 100 dp, margin of 100 dp and from the left we are having a margin of 100 dp. So from the bottom side the text view is not acquiring any space. So the button is aligned just below the uh, below our text view since it is a vertical linear layout. Now let us check out what the padding stands for. Let's do one thing remove these two attributes margin left and top. We don't need it as of now. Just type padding. Now here again you can see padding, padding left, padding top, padding right, padding bottom and many other stuffs are here right. Now let us use the padding in all directions. Let's use 100 dp and check it out what changes we have got in our graphical layout. Now here you can see our text view this these blue dots are showing this text view has taken 100 dp, 100 dp, 100 dp and 100 dp. So the content of the text view layout you can find at the center which is 100 dp from the left, 100 dp from the right and also from top and bottom it is having the distance of 100 dp. So quite simple. Now let us again go to the activity main.xml. Let us do one thing. Let's type padding left. Now also padding top equal to 100 dp. Fine. Now let's check it out our graphical layout. Now here you can check our text within the text view layout is aligned 100 dp from the top of the layout and 100 dp from the left of the layout. Because we have specifically assigned the value of padding left and padding top. It orders the text our text Hey our text please align yourself with a padding of 100 dp from the top and padding of 100 dp from the left. Right. So here is the output. Now let us summarize quickly the difference between the layout margin and the padding. On the left hand side you can see our padding is 100 dp. So our text is aligned from the left hand side of this layout of this text view at a distance of 100 dp and 100 dp in all the directions. So this whole blue area is the area of what a text view and the content of the text view you can see our text is aligned 100 dp from all the distance straight away at the center. Now if you see the layout margin 100 dp then in that case the whole layout of the text view along with the content of the text is aligned 100 dp from all the directions. 
That is why this button is placed right 100 dp away from this layout of the text view. You can't place any widget in the diameter of 100 dp around this text view. And the other attributes that you can use in padding and layout margin are following left, right, top, bottom. Similarly, layout margin left, margin bottom, right and top. So you can simply go to the Eclipse and play with all these attributes. So hope the concept of your padding and layout margin is clear now guys. I will catch you guys in next video. So stay tuned and please comment, like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.